So as you start learning web design, there's different ways that you can start. A lot of people have you just jump right into the modern stuff with a modern tool. That's not really my approach. I like to start kind of more the way that the actual field started, the way the actual development of this skill of this area of study actually happened for two reasons. One, it's simpler, but two, it also allows you to better appreciate where we started and where the development has gone. And it gets you used to, I guess, three things. Being in something that is dynamic and changing and not getting stuck in a specific way thinking that it is the only way to do it because it's probably going to change again in a few years from now. So just to start off, we're going to do something extremely basic. If we go into our launch pad, we can look for the program text edit. If yours isn't there, you can always just search for it. So text edit. Now when we first launch this, this isn't what we need. The format right now is for a rich text format or .rtf and that has a lot of extra data in it. Uh, font types, font size, font weight, all this different stuff like that. Formatting and we can't write an HTML document that way. We can't write a website that way. It's going to include a bunch of extra coding that's going to confuse the browser. So we need to make some changes. So we're just going to go up to text edit preferences and this is what we need. So we're going to change this to plain text and we want to get rid of smart quotes because that's a problem. We probably want to get rid of smart copy and paste because depending on what it does that could cause some issues. I'm going to get rid of text replacement because I know what I'm doing and I don't want it to think that it's smarter than me. I am going to get rid of correct spelling automatically because I don't want it to try to replace something that I'm writing. I'm going to get rid of smart dashes too. Some of these options might be disabled anyways when it goes to plain but I just don't want to chance it. We can go to open and I would need to remove the adding dot text because it's going to be dot HTML and this looks okay to me. That should be alright. So I need to actually quit text edit and I need to relaunch it for those changes to take effect. There we go. This is what I need to see. So just an empty window with nothing in it, no tools, no customization options, no formatting, perfect. So the first thing that I'm going to write is I'm just going to write hello world and I'm going to command plus a bunch so you can actually see what I'm writing. So just hello world. It's very simple but the point of it is, is it gets you to kind of see the way that the process works without getting mixed up with complex coding or anything like that yet. So you can make sure that your software is working the way it's supposed to and that you understand how to save things, how to open things, how to access things, how to get to work before having to really worry about the code. So we're just going to do file, save, and we're going to, I'm just going to drop it on my desktop. And we'll call this hello hyphen world dot html hyphens are very popular in web design don't use spaces the internet doesn't like spaces but hyphens are fine hyphen is basically a space we used underscores for a while which was from some of the old programming background but hyphens are more popular now because a lot of these search engines will actually read that as a space whereas an underscore it won't alright so we have hello world Hello World has popped up here on my desktop. It says it's an HTML, so that's great. So if we double click. Okay, so it's not exciting, but it launched in Safari, so that's good. And uh, appears to be working. If we right click, we can try opening with Firefox, and that looks fine. And we can also try opening with Google Chrome. And that looks fine as well. So. Our first HTML file, while extremely simple, was a success. And that's the main point of this. It's not about like learning something crazy or something incredibly hard to start with. It's just making sure that everything works and you understand how it works before you try to do more complex stuff.